today we're going to discuss some of the important aspects of constructing and repairing beehives. Australia has standardised on Langstroth beehive boxes. These boxes were designed as far back as 1852 by the revered Lorenzo Langstroth of Philadelphia in the United States of America. The recognised bee space gap of 8 to 10 millimetres between combs built in nature by bees. This allows beekeepers to place frames in the hives so that colonies can be easily managed. Australian apiary regulations require all beekeepers to use hives with removable frames. Most states issue apiary registration numbers so you can brand your equipment. Boxes hold 8, 10 or 12 frames. The width varies according to the boxes. Migratory lids are the most popular in Australia as they allow hives to be stacked. Telescopic lids are said to be harder to dislodge in windy weather but they aren't as popular as the migratory lids. Bottom boards are the same external size as the box except that the entrance juts out about 25 millimetres to provide a landing area for the bees. These bottom boards can be fixed to the brood box or be kept loose. The latter, loose, is the most preferred type of bottom board. A hive shutter is optional on the bottom board. Other components of the hive include an inner mat that acts to prevent burr comb in migratory lids and there is a queen excluder to control queen movements. Hive fasteners to bind the hive together are essential and are usually either a strap or spring clip. Beehive boxes are available in either wood or plastic. Plastic boxes are more expensive but don't need painting or preserving. However, wooden boxes have been the most popular since the very early days of the industry. There are many sources of equipment for beehives and components. Most commercial providers advertise in beekeeper journals and some beekeeping associations sell hive components. It's important to adhere to one design of hive, either an 8 or 10 frame size, so that components can be interchanged. If buying second-hand equipment, ensure all components are of a standard size. Alternatively, if you make your own, ensure you use standard measurements used by commercial manufacturers. When preparing to construct and repair beehives, check for any work, safety and health issues and take preventative measures to ensure all issues are addressed. To assemble hives and components, the following equipment will be needed. Hammer or nail gun, stapler, suitable nails and staples, screwdriver and screws, glue, flathead galvanised or cement coated nails or equivalent. It's recommended that commercial manufactured equipment is purchased in a flat pack. The components are then assembled using glue, correct size nails, screws or staples.
After assembling the bottom board lid and boxes, the wood must be preserved using wax or a copper naphthenate based wood preservative to increase the life of the equipment. It's important to follow the instructions. Bottom boards, lid and boxes must be painted both inside and outside using paint for protection. Frames can be either wooden or plastic. If the frames use plastic comb foundation, it should be coated with heated beeswax using a roller or brush. Wooden frames using beeswax comb foundation need to be wired using the correct wire, a wiring board and embedder to attach the sheet of comb foundation to the wire. It's important to protect beehives from changing weather conditions and is often carried out in the winter months when the bees are less active. 